Okay. Hello, everybody. This is part two of the three-part process series for my automating of hamburgers. And so I am... Currently, trying to automate my um, cow process, right? And so now, the next part of the uh, process that we need right now is uh, the outer collection of these cows that are being killed in here. And so I figured out what the issue was with these. Um, they need to be able to touch the ground. They need to have at least one solid block under them in order to spawn something. And that required me getting these little entity spawner upgrades. Which uh, is just made with eggs, blaze powder, and essence. Which is XV buckets basically. So, now, I need to replace this glass, and then my next step is making absorption hoppers, and then probably refilling these jumbo tanks, because, yeah, those are completely empty. Glass... Now that we're done with this, all that's left is, like I said, making the absorption hoppers, which aren't very hard. And it's these right here. And it's just three obsidian, a hopper, and an eye vendor. And so basically, we can have the hoppers. We need three city purse. We need nine. And we need three eyes of ender. So now that we have these absorption hoppers, we need to set up more of these uh, ender first, ender uh, chests, right? And we need east to be items, which means it'll go right into them. And now what we can do is we can turn all of these on and they will start spawning and killing cows. Yeah, see, now the cows are spawning. And if we look in here, We are getting a whole bunch of meat, a whole bunch of lemon, and mob souls. The mob souls I don't think I really have any use for. The leather is kind of just something I can collect to use for later. 
the meat is really well. Actually, I don't really need the leather either because I have a leather chicken. So that that guy can produce leather for me. So I really don't need it. See, we can come in here. I got my little cow chicken producing leather, and I so I don't really need the leather from the cows. I can also murder all of these guys. <laughs> And uh, as I slowly go along through this, uh, in between all of the episodes and whatnot that I'm doing for all of this, I'm going to be basically getting all of the upgrades for the mob mashers, like the looting ones, so I can get more beef and whatnot. And basically beating it so that I can just kind of move things around and increase my outcome. Oh, hold on, sorry. Uh, increase my uh, production amount, not outcome, my production amount of basically meat from all of this, and I guess they'll also drop loot crates. I guess I can also uh, separate the loot crates from this. Which is not bad. Loot crates are definitely interesting, but once you have a mob farm going, you kind of just get a lot of them. Yeah, see, we're already really racking up beef, and so once we put in the looting upgrades, which is this thing right here, they're really simple to make. And I already have some on my mob farm, which really makes it a lot easier in getting stuff. Uh, this will go a lot faster after that. So, my next goal is to run a separator, because I don't want any of that other stuff getting involved in the process of making the hamburgers. So that involves getting... using the create mods, which is what I'm going to use to make a sorter of sorts, like what I did over here, this thing right here. It separates all of the uh, loot chests here, and then gets rid of all of the other stuff that I don't need, because I really don't need rotten flesh, or bones, or arrows, or quivers. Like, I don't need any of that stuff. Because I have it all being produced by chickens, except for the rotten flesh, but let's be honest here, I don't really need that. So, the next step in the process is making a leather and steak separator. So I need to clear out my inventory because the great mod needs a lot of stuff. I'm going to need my temporal pouch back because I'm just letting that time go up. Okay, let's grab some large cogwheels, and let's grab my rotation speed controllers, because I can always use those. Um, I'm going to need more of these uh, things. Let's see, hold on. They are... Uh, the electron tubes. Which I need iron sheets for. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a whole stack of iron and we're just going to turn it all into iron sheets. So we can make as many electron tubes as we need. As you can see I kind of really just got rid of a lot of my create stuff that was right here and kind of because I didn't really need it in this area anymore. I didn't really need a mixer for anything. I have a smelter in case I need it. So it was just kind of useless. So now I'm just kind of moving stuff around, speeding stuff up like this thing so it runs faster and it smashes the sheets faster. And that'll just kind of lessen the burden on me a little bit. Uh, let's see. We need this. We're going to need an additional few. We're gonna need some brass ingots. We're going to need a list filter. We're gonna need two of these, which is just wool and iron nuggets. 
because we're going to need one to separate out the uh, loot crates, which is something I just usually tend to keep around in case I need them, because you can get some interesting stuff from it. And uh, we're going to need another to separate the beef. And I think later on, I'll eventually I'll make another sorter for uh, the wheat so that I can auto craft bread. And I'm just going to use like five hopper bonsais for just producing wheat. And there's going to be a serious outcome of eggs in there that I am not going to need. So I'm probably going to either trash those seeds or save them in some sort of way. Okay. And since I already have all of the possible loot crates in here, I'm just going to grab one of each. So that I can put it into a filter for the sorter. Okay. And that's done. So now I can put all these back. And just tell me what's in there. And then this one's going to be for the steak. Do I have a piece of steak in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So we'll have to grab one from the farm. I'm going to need to make a piece of dry or a freaking mechanical belts. I'm also gonna need to make the electron tubes. And then we're going to make some brass funnels. We're going to need Probably some crystal chests for some of the things. Um, actually, I'm also going to want. Uh, I don't know if I have any leftover. I really don't seem to have any leftover. make one of these arc wood whoa is arc wood not allowed I guess maybe not okay then so be it I'll just make a normal one leather, which I guess I might end up keeping the leather. I'm not terribly sure what I want to do yet. I'm also going to need some water wheels. Let's grab some of these. And I'm pretty sure this will work. I just, I can just use arcwood planks for this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay, I can. Uh, what else? I'm going to need some water eggs. There we go, just in case we need them. And now I think everything's done. Now that I need, have everything I need. So basically, I just need, oh. I guess there was a bee in there? Definitely need to put a roof on here. Um, list filter for beef. For, for raw beef. And uh, they're not supposed to spawn up there.
What is going on here? I'm gonna grab a stack of cobblestone real quick. Cause that is definitely not supposed to happen. Definitely, definitely not supposed to happen. I don't know why it spawned on top. Oh. I guess it is a viable option. There we go. Yeah, okay. That should work. I guess I didn't need as many as I thought I did. babies already? No, they're just not going in. Okay. That might be an issue. I might need to change these, uh... Where these levers are. Because I don't think I can turn these on by themselves, but they don't fill up if they aren't on. So I wonder if I put it on this side, it still won't allow it to go in. Oh, that's, that's something. Wonder, can I do it with redstone blocks instead? Because if I do redstone blocks, maybe redstone blocks will work better. And maybe they won't interfere with the input of the hoppers. I hope. <laughs> Big sneeze. Okay. Let's see here. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Nope, 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 nope. I'm stuck. <laughs> that was not great. Well, that's been a first death in a while. That part kind of sucks. And I hate that it was due to my own negligence. seem like the redstone block is working better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the redstone block definitely works better. That's good to know. Hide the area. Put that on. issue has been solved and that that redstone block no longer affects the hopper 
that redstone block doesn't affect the hopper unlike the lever. That makes it now better for us to start setting up this sorter. Okay, so we're going to start up with setting up this uh, water wheel here. Set this up here. Do this right here. And there we go. And we now have that going. We can increase its speed as we please. So now what we can do is we can set up a conveyor belt right here. Can set up a ender chest right here that has all of our stuff in it to be separated into another ender chest, which is right here, which we are going to change to the colors yellow. We're just going to make it all yellow. And we'll just grab a few, because I know we're going to need some later. Okay. Now what we do is change this one to all yellow, grab one of our crystal chests, put it right here, and then do this, and this. Grab our loot chest one, throw it there. Grab our beef one, throw it there. And I guess for now, because I guess I didn't think this ahead, but an oak drawer really isn't going to help unless I use another filter. So for the time being, we're just going to put this crystal chest here to collect everything else. Which is really going to probably put a damper on some of my plans. I guess maybe I ought to just do it. gonna have to make another thing, another barrel for the mob souls. Because I guess in a way, in like, when it comes to modded Minecraft, there's, you never know what you're gonna need. And so there's like a lot of stuff you can just save up for. And I guess that's kind of just my plan. You never know what I need to save up for, right? Honestly, though, I think I might get rid of this leather chicken and kind of just move his uh, leather or his leather drawer and use it over there. Oh, um, did not expect that to break that fast. Okay. is going to be for this, and the other one which is going to be for this. Okay. 
This one is leather. And this one is the mob souls. So now, what should happen is as soon as we put this on, we should all start just flowing into here. Perspective. Yeah, nice. So now that's all going through its stuff. It's not too fast for the income. And it's all being put into its respective places. Now we have the next step. The next step is slightly easier because I already have everything. I've already set it up once. And it's all over here. because some of the stuff I don't need. Going to need the yellow dye. I don't need the clan star fire. I don't need the stick of eyes. I don't need this. I don't need this. I need that. Okay. I need all of this stuff to set up the auto cutter, I guess is a way of saying it. I also need more food. This is why I'm doing this, is because I need a lot of food. And I just don't have the food required. And I want something that's going to last a while. <laughs> because if it lasts a while, that means it's good for me. Okay. So what we need to do... We need to... Do this as the three yellow this will now pair to that. And then we can do that there. Let's take our little hopper. Do that. That's going to place there. I'm going to set up a redstone clock back here. That will forever be going off. forever be going off. So as soon as we put the knife in there, we'll be better off. And that will start collecting everything into a different type of chest. See, now what we do is we put that in there, and it just starts piling up, piling up the mid speed. And 
eventually the knife will break, so I'll have to make more diamond knives. Because every time it's used, it can be used 1,561 times. Because one is one. One durability is one. So, what I can do now is set up an additional yellow dye thing. kidnap my little cold chicken that I have over here. Or actually, maybe I should just make more of them. Because I have this additional roost. So I can just infinitely produce coal over there. Let's put that guy in there. And, uh, redstone chicken. Why not? And I guess for now we're going to probably some of our chickens. All the way up to 10 10 chickens. Let's see, what do we got now? Okay. We're just gonna get a whole bunch of 10-10 chickens. Okay, now we kind of just need to come over to our little trash can over here that we have. Really need to make another one of these. These trash cans are really efficient. <laughs> to 16 of each of these chickens in a thing. And look, they produce a lot. Like 20 coal per. So I'm going to have them auto-producing coal for my smelter, which I need to auto-cook that minced patty into minced cooked patty. Cooked minced patty. Cooked hamburger, technically. <laughs> and it's going to be the fuel for my furnace. Which I'm going to use to cook those. And I'm going to use a crazy little furnace that will be cooking really quickly. And then after we finish this part, this will be the end of uh, episode 2 of this three part process. And the next episode is automatically crafting all of this into the actual hamburgers itself plus extended episode of a mini episode of trying to figure out the XP stuff for this because this has got 11, 12 buckets of XP this has got almost 10 and this one's almost got uh, it's got 10 so yeah nah, this is a uh, a thing, for sure. I need another hopper. Because 
because I will put the coal in to fuel it. See, it's already going. It's already out pumping everything. Which means it'll automatically cook everything. And I need an additional two poppers? One to output and one to input the actual minced meat. Also going to need to that's for three, that's for one, that's for one. And now what we can do is we can put down another little one of these furnaces. Uh, or not furnaces, ender chests, and it will receiving location for our beef patties. And that is completely full. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, this is something. This is really something. that's it. We have fully automated the process of making these beef patties. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting. And look, we're getting something out of it too. And we're collecting everything in the process, which is nice. And this can hold up to 65,000 leather. This is, uh, this is something for sure. It's cooking, but it's definitely not cooking fast enough. <laughs> it's more like the transfer rate isn't fast enough, honestly. as I'm in the chunk. I'm not really technically sure. But yeah, that's it for uh, episode two. And see y'all later. Bye.